Argentina and Paraguay and Venezuela will face off on game day four of the World Cup qualifiers here in the Americas. An unbeaten Venezuela looking to cement a great start to this qualification campaign and take a huge step towards qualification for the World Cup in 2023 in the Philippines, Japan and Indonesia. And what a tournament that promises to be. And Venezuela are a long way towards qualification. They currently sit 3-0 and in the group. Argentina 2-1. and Venezuela beat Argentina in the game day three action. And Argentina will be back on the floor against Panama following this game. Paraguay still looking for that first win in this qualification campaign. Their defensive effort has been good. They've just struggled at the offensive end. Venezuela being introduced and they're in a great place. So much confidence for coach Fernando Duro's lineup. One of the oldest teams in the World Cup qualifiers. Seven of these uh, 11 people on the roster are over 30 years old. In great shape though. So, so much experience across this team. A lot of times as a group on the floor together and they really do make that play. Great group, well led. And as I say, a long way towards qualifying for the 2023 World Cup. Paraguay, on the other hand, 0-3 in the group, undersized, underexperienced, and uh, even though they have five players, 30 plus, the 77th ranked team on the FIBA World Rankings have a job on their hands tonight. It's not necessarily a must-must win, but uh, it's uh, their backs are up against the wall when it comes to qualification. 0-3, they need to get that win to build the confidence and give themselves an opportunity to compete for one of the qualification spots. Coach Juan Bilyeu will take charge as normal for Paraguay. We'll now have the national anthems of both Venezuela and Paraguay will come back after those to talk more about the challenge that faces Paraguay in taking on the unbeaten Venezuela. But here are the national anthems beginning with Venezuela. Santo nombre, a este santo nombre. 
Gloria El Bravo Pueblo, the national anthem of Venezuela, beautifully performed. And now the national anthem of Paraguay. And here are the th third team on the floor, the crew chief, Jorge Vazquez, Philippe Abala, and Fabiana Huba from Puerto Rico, Chile, and Brazil, respectively, make up the third team on the floor for this game day four World Cup qualify here in the Americas. Buenos Aires is the base for the games in this group. We've already had one thrilling day of action, which saw Argentina lose to Venezuela and really puts Venezuela in the driving seat for this qualification from this group. Don't forget the first stage groups, three teams will go through, make up second round groups, all the results carried forward, so every result is important. Starting five for Venezuela, Gali Soho is key to setting the tempo for this team, coached by Fernando Duluro and a lot of experience, a lot of age, plus 30s on this team, and they really do use that experience and that cohesion that's built up with this team playing so many international games together. There is confirmation of head coach Fernando Hector Duluro, who really does a nice job at making sure this group, is point, everybody points in the same direction. We're going to get a look at the Paraguay starters. And their issue is scoring. They really do struggle to score enough points. Undersized, they've really got to spread the floor. It's going to be so important, the job that they do taking care of the basketball. Coach uh, Filiu emphasized the need for them to get good shots, good selections, and keep those turnovers under control. If they do that, they can be competitive in the game. Gabriel Peralata, who leads this team in points. In fact, you know, no one on this team is the go-to guy, so to speak. Four guys scoring over nine points per game in these World Cup qualifiers. Peralata has 9.7, chips in with uh, in the second best rebounder on the team with four. And also, this is ranked second on assist. So, Peralata gets it done for this team, the two meter one power forward. But it is about quality shots and trying to ensure they share the basketball. They can't be taking tough ones. So Venezuela looking to remain unbeaten and take a huge step towards the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia. About 18 months away, 90, uh, yeah, 18, 19 months away. Those World, that World Cup finals in 2023. And just can't wait. Well, welcome to Buenos Aires. 
Venezuela and Paraguay will face off. And Paraguay get the first look. Kubiam moves it on. They go hand off. They're going to go ball control. Whistle on the play. And that's. Uh, it's a poor foul by Miguel Ruiz. Ruiz. Soho, in fact, was charged with the personal. New full team. Attack the closeout. Feet set. Toed the line. Not sure he'll count the three. It's off. Defensive rebound is Ruiz. And uh, Venezuela in transition. Take care of the basketball. They're very, very efficient. Colmenares will reverse the ball. Then ball screen dives to the basket. They miss him. And they're going to count that one. Carmenares might have been missed underneath, but he didn't miss putting it on the floor. Strong move, takes the contact and powers it through for two. Averaging 12.7 points per game across the qualifiers. Carmenares, leading scorer on this Venezuelan lineup. Coach uh, Giro likes to get him. Touches early. He needs to feel it, get him rid of. Completes the three-point play. And Venezuela will show what looks a little 2-2-1 trap. Paraguay goes straight into the worst place on the floor. You do not want to try and cross the halfway line. On the sideline against the 2-2-1 trap, but uh, fortunately enough awareness to throw it off the feet of the defense. Turnover. Too flat. Ruiz, watch out. Throws that one down. Gets up off the runway hard. And it's a 5-0 start to Venezuela. And Paraguay cough up the possession. Well, they take the early three, no rebounders at all. And Venezuela have a chance to go the other way. They've got to go team control, I think, Paraguay, if they're going to have a hope of staying in this. Comenales will reverse the basketball, hits the second side. Long two is short. Defensive rebound is pulled in by uh, Ocho Pinta. Or Pinte, sorry. Oh, misunderstanding turnover. You've got it's tough to try and play ball control. It's tough to try and get into the last third of the shot clock and be comfortable. But that's what Paraguay are gonna have to do here. Again, Venezuela will ship the basketball. It's inside. Ruiz will recover it and kick. The extra pass to the corner. The open three is good. Super ball movement. Yuno Zamora with his feet set as we get a replay of Ruiz on the runway. And whatever angle you look at. Ruiz gets above the ring and throws it down. Paraguay will take the timeout early. They trail 8-0, 8-12, still to go in the first. Cuerno bajo, toda la vuelta, le damos toda la vuelta y ya empecemos a defender más agresivo, ¿ok? Y ahí Zamora, filling it up from deep. Bueno, well, Coach Pilou. Ladies, uh, he's abundantly clear. They turn it over again, though. Good recovery, but they give it straight back. A little comedy of errors moment. Ball's locked away. Paraguay have a chance to run, but don't look to push. This is where they're going to spend time with the basketball. Chapinte moves it on. And they tick it over for the first time. Good reaction coming out of the timeout. 
For Aviros with the two points. Zamora is going to travel. Yep, drag the pivot foot. Peralta handles it, moves it on. They take the early three. Again, let alone the blue shirt being on the glass. There wasn't a blue shirt inside the three-point line when they took that one. Great rotation from the weak side for uh, Chapinte. Ruiz thinks about it, puts it on the floor, draws some contact and kicks. Zamora not ready to shoot the ball, will put it on the floor. Colmenales, feet set for three, way off. Job on the glass, is solid. Soho goes to work on the offensive boards. And another turnover. That's the fourth or fifth turnover already for Paraguay. Ruiz will reverse the basketball. Foul on the play. David Kubilan. Kubilan picked up the, drew the foul. Soho, out top, needs a pass, finds one, goes inside. Ruiz, nice pass, super cut, super pass, super finish. And Colomonara is just sliced through the seam on the defense. Good timing, nice cut. Ruiz is going to really weight this perfectly. And great things happen when you share the basketball. Inside out, turnover. Yet another turnover for Paraguay. And that's out of bounds. Easy too. And Paraguay's defense completely broke down. Just forgot that uh, Dose was uh, down the floor. Nice find. Zamora again, wide open feet set, repeats it from the left corner. Nice stroke. And yet another turnover. Zamora floats one. Kubian is off with the three. Paraguay hunted down on the wrong end of a 15 4 start. Poor shot, Ruiz picks up the defensive rebound. The lead pass, Calamonales is gonna land on the baseline, I think. I think he's looking to uh, get a blow. So Calamonales will sit down. He's uh, replaced by Michael Carrera, who uh, plays his basketball in Yeda. So again, Venezuela up the floor, looking to push home this advantage. Already have 15 points in the first five minutes of action. Dorce relieves the pressure. And Paraguay into the half court. Riveros, a nice pass to the inside. Solid finish. The Lopez. With the two, gets it back to single digits as a margin. Tough fadeaway as a foul on the shot, took away the space to land. Uh, Michael Carrera will go to the three throw line. Also picks up uh, foul number two.
Kerr on the free throw line. A lot of this team was, were part of the back-to-back -back championship winning team in South America for Venezuela. 2016-2014, back-to-back championships. The three is gone, it's off. Defensive rebound pulled in, a chance to run. Little floater in the lane is no good. Great work on the offensive glass to get his own rebound. But, uh, they just outwork Paraguay as well as uh, literally outskilling them at the moment. Guillem made the two. Russell on the play. And Aldolfo Lopez, who's done well since he's come off the bench, will go to the free throw line. Lopez, the leading rebounder for Paraguay. Shakes a little move, gets some contact, and will go to the free throw line. It's 32 now, Alpha, Aldolfo Lopez. When you're 619 down, got to make your throws. Try and find a way. They're going to count that. Lane violation was from the low post box. So Paraguay show a little trap of their own. Much softer. Short two is good. Nice flash. Carrera picks up his fourth point. Paraguay down 14. Oh, they missed the wide open option. Step back two is no good. And Viveros can't get it to go. Early post entry and transition. Right, just about scramble to get that one back. The mid range two is no good. And Paraguay and the Jorge Rojas or Jorge Martinez Rojas. The one legged lean away. Little Dirk Nowitzki like gets the two. Dulce. That's going to be an offensive foul, I believe. Yep. And. Uh, Wendy Glatero at 35, should know better. The way the referees are cleaning up the actions around screens, really consistent wherever these World Cup qualifiers are taking place. And back, a little reverse bounce pass to the reverse layup is no good. And Paraguay squeezing the space too much, no spacing. But with eight seconds on the possession, they retain possession. They settle for the quick three. No good. No one goes to the glass. Defensive rebound is pulled in by Luis. And Venezuela just about retain possession. A 
Guerrero just keeps finding space on the inside. Tough long two is no good in Venezuela. Getting a little sloppy themselves. Oh, has nowhere to go. Or has again. Whistle on the play. And Gretel picks up the personal. Three is no good. Mathalan comes down with a defensive rebound. Whistle on the play. down screen to the three is no good defensive oh sorry offensive rebounds by Matalan and Venezuela but Guyen moves it on little mishandle quick hands by Peralta A two second differential between time and possession and Paraguay would love to be in double digits that'll make it a 10 point game or even a 9 point game if they make the 3 Peralta steps back for the 3 is off defensive rebound and this gives Venezuela plenty of time to get a shot extra pass feet set end of the quarter, is it finished with a three? It's off. And Venezuela dominant in this first quarter. End it up 21 to nine. Every single department, they had the edge over Paraguay. Statistically, 0 for five from three for Paraguay is not helping the cause. Venezuela, reasonable numbers offensively. Let's take a look at the best plays of the first quarter. And most of those will be from the team in white. Colin Menares started the game with the three-point play. But well, Venezuela have really exploited the corners. The corner three. Zamora, both sides of the floor. And it's a little, just a little bit of too much of everything. Off the bench, they got great contributions. Michael Carrera in particular, real Spark offensively. Carrera coming off the bench uh, has 11 points a game for this team. So things looking good for Venezuela. If you want all the details, go and download the app. The QR code there, you can scan it. Live stats and so much more. All the highlights, all the news, everything. Get the FIBA World Cup app. Check out the websites for all the regions, for the Americas, for Asia, for Europe, and for Africa. Check out the game schedules, the details of how to watch the games. There's so much great basketball across these World Cup qualifiers. Be a shame to miss any of it. And uh, scanning the QR code and getting onto the websites, you will not miss a thing. All the news.
from Venezuela in the half court, 12 on the possession. That's a long three. That's halfway to the car park. Pedro Churio with his feet set halfway to the halfway line. Nothing but string and a 24-9. Venezuelan knee, tough one off the glass is good. Tough move. Paraguay have a chance to go back to backs. Wide open three is no good, but the rebound should be secured. Lesme. Carrera just about controls the defensive board. Here come Venezuela again. Carrera will go into the high post area. He's been open the whole time. Back to back three, surely not from that deep. And Churio. Not the best decision his coach would have seen. Needs a pass, finds a pass. The extra one, the open three is no good. Mataran was charged with a personal foul on the rebound. I think he just hooked the arm and held. So Paraguay will retain it. And there's me. Tries to go to work. Right hand hook off the glass. He's short. Defensive rebound gives Venezuela a chance to run. Feet set. Three is off for Churio. Almost the worst thing he could have done was to make the really deep three. Fences his chances on that the whole time. Nice handle by Edgar Riveros. Draws the foul. Guillente uh, picks up the personal, his first foul. line possession for uh, Paraguay. They have to go long. Nice pass to the baseline, inside out. Zamora attacks the closeout and kicks. Long two is good. Good ball movement, excellent execution. And Kubian picks up the two. And neither team shooting the three ball particularly well at the moment. Wide open, there's a reason. If you're that wide open, that early in the clock. And David Kubian backed himself, but joins the group of people really not shooting the three ball very well at the moment. They still lead 26 to 15. Deep catch. Inside out, wide open. Didn't take the three. Takes the little run up a two, is good. Lubitech, Lubitech with a weird reluctance to shoot the open three. And Paraguay go to the 2-3 zone. And straight away they find the seam, doesn't get the drop.
game struggling to find any rhythm at the moment. Paraguay on the wrong end of the 13-26 margin. They have it in the half court, though. And Lubitic pulls up. Really well-produced jump shot. And just when you think they're starting to dry up a little bit from the perimeter, someone steps up and Kubian knocks down the three, goes to five personal. Mid-range answer the other way, short. Zamora steps back for three and he follows in the three from Kubian. And what was looking like a 10-point potential game is now opened up and ballooned to a 17-point margin for Venezuela. And again, another turnover. Numbers down the floor. They're going to call that unsportsmanlike mid-call on Peralta. So Venezuela opening up. To a 19 point margin with the basketball. Down the lane for two, strong move. No defensive effort though. The Ayan Cervantes gets back to back baskets, goes to four personal. Can't get it to go. Chance to run here. They have numbers. Four on three, five on three. Have to find the open man. Zamora for three is sweet from deep. And Zamora shoots the basketball really well. The 33-year-old shooting guard has good size at 196. And he goes back to back threes. Venezuela lead this one 36 to 15. Still pretty much five to go in the first half. And Zamora has a really nice stroke, real quick release. Just about beat the eight count. And Titch has it already at eight on the possession. Baseline entry, no space to play. 
Lubitsch catch, release on the three is good. Uh, Lubitsch has points, has a really nice stroke, does a really nice job. Goes to seven personal. And Zamora feeling it from deep, this one's long. Doesn't hit anything over, chance for Paraguay to push. They just don't commit to the break, it's all about the individual, but takes it close to coast, and Ocha Pinta gets the two. His first two points of the game. But this Venezuela's team, as a group, so experienced. Just come down the floor, run their stuff, get the options they want. Paraguay just can't take them out of what they want to run. Nice penetration in traffic, whistle on the play. And it's Sifontes' turn almost to be the aggressor. Goes to the free throw line already with a 19 point advantage. 3.43 to go in quarter two. And Zamora sits and Zamora really always continually impresses. Great size, great release on the shot. 33 years old now, still looks like he's got a lot of basketball in those legs. So Cervantes will rotate out. The age of this group times have spent pretty much together as a group over the last almost a decade now second in the 2012 South American Championships with Venezuela then they went on that uh, unbeaten run of championships 2014 15 and 16 And they just love to play with each other. Inside out, the three is good. And Correo just made the pass, spotted up, clear line of sight back to the ball. And Venezuela opened it up to a 24 point lead. I mean, Paraguay are struggling. Admittedly, they're struggling, but uh, Venezuela really are putting on a show. Still, chance to run, and they have numbers down the floor. Nice pass. Runway and throw down. Got clearance from the bench right in front of it. As Sohal just took off. And we're going to go travel. And Leslie looks longingly at the officials. We get a replay of the flight departure. It's not as if people weren't back. No communication at all between Ochapinta. Rias with the foul line two is no good. The game has that air of uh, inevitability about it right now. Never such a thing though as a dead national team game. No travel, again, because they're not shooting the three ball very well. Everybody in a white uniform just hugs the keyway. No space to play in there. Skip pass, the open three is good. And Venezuela having fun. David Kubian is the latest man to drop the three ball. And Paraguay will turn it over yet again. And it's becoming a very, very long night at the office for the Paraguayans. One twenty-two to go in the half. Already a 29-point margin. And Paraguay, we talked about their difficulty in scoring at this level at the top of the game. And unfortunately, all the concerns are justified. Throw steps back out for himself. 
and they break the 50 point margin in the first half. Penetration for two is no good. And Peralta just couldn't get it to go. Whistle on the plate. Soho will peel himself off the floor. Man's in. It's his 10 seconds of fame in the World Cup qualifiers. 52 to 20. Last minute of the half. Another wide open look for Venezuela. It's no good down. Defensive rebound pull. Chance to run. Again, they run in, run in singles. This time it's uh, Sakala who went on his own. No one committed to the break. And Paraguay will try and hold for the last shot of this first half, which has been painful for them. Fill the double team. Gets inside for the layup for two is good. Going to have to put up a tough one. And we've reached the half. And Venezuela are underlining their status at the top of this group. They lead this one at the half, 52 to 22. And at times they look incredibly, incredibly impressive when they moved the ball and spaced it. These guys can shoot it. They space the ball really well and they run really well. Statistically, Paraguay with uh, a one from eight on the three point line, rebound wise. Venezuela leading that character. 10 steals is the really impressive number. Zamora. In fact, the three leading scorers all stroked the jump shot really well for Venezuela. Lubitic has done a nice job. Outnumbered on the perimeter, but has really finished well. Let's take a look at uh, the best plays from that first half. Well, everything has to come from your defense. Uh, Venezuela have done a really nice job at stifling Paraguay and what they're looking to do. Great offensive rebound, straight back up. They share it so well. That time, Colin Manales, who leads this team in scoring, is the beneficiary. And Carrera, who's their number two ranked scorer, comes off the bench in his instant offense. Everybody touches the basketball on that occasion. Kubian is the man who steps in and gets the two. Lubitic has had a really nice uh, first half. The 181 point guard, he's 34 now. So vastly experienced. And that's a sight that uh, that would have really helped any fan in the gym. It's on the perimeter with a jump shot. Zamora with a jump shot. All got great form. But 
Soho. It's got great hops, great finish. So that was the first half. We'll take a break now. We'll see you shortly for the second half. Can Paraguay get back in this? It's a tough ask, but we'll see you shortly for the second half. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. There were a couple of uh, couple of calls that went their way, and now the foul, the throwdown by Ness, by Colmenares. Earing staying with it, sticking to the Framovich. Now the fake, the handoff. Oh, I've had enough of this. Get out of my way, Kovrovica. and we'll go to the line for a potential three-point play. Dula now with the ball. Crosses over, gets his pocket picked, and guess who's on it? Woo! Reverse dunk. Lovely little dunk by Njai there. Kanson gets it off, good force, tries to handle, under five again on the shot clock, defense is the, the winner at the moment, oh, from the halfway, from the sideline. Pai Pono, which gives Kenya another chance to run and even back the draw. Ravina trying to create some space, can't, goes way downtown, what a shot, my goodness me, we talk about Logo 3's Montalbo, kills the third quarter with the Logo 3. The lefty, Hotban Ulubai, his first three, and now the steal, right at the buzzer, oh he made it! He made it, are you kidding me? Abro Rojas on the pull up. Too strong, but the sounds play continues. It's the heat. It's good, unfortunately. Count it. Oh, the heat from Morales. Nothing to put the bottom of the net. The highlight finish from him.
Well, a quality that, uh, you know, Zamora has really nice, sweet touch on the, uh, on the jump shot. Long, really has a quick release. And his team want him to shoot the basketball. Runs the floor really well, backs himself out outside the three-point line. And as soon as he gets his feet set, he's a very, very, very good shooter. And the way this team share the ball, he has a lot of opportunities to get his feet set. A lot of opportunities to move the ball. Top score for Paraguay. And he's impressed. Luis Lupetic. One eighty-nine point guard, thirty-four now. Knows how to stop quickly, release the ball, good touch, and it really has done an excellent job for Paraguay in that first half. Hundred percent from the floor. Three from three, one from one on the three-point line. Really is understands how to play the game. A real asset for Paraguay. They may be in a hole here, 52 to 22, but uh, Lubitic has done a really nice job. Both teams back out on the floor. Venezuela are going to be incredibly happy with their work here in Buenos Aires. The win over Argentina was big. Complete the job here with Paraguay. Finish this window with a 4-0 record. And they made the second stage of the World Cup in 20 in China. And uh, they want to get back to the top table of world basketball. The only place to be. In September in 2023 is in the Philippines. If you're in the Philippines or Indonesia or Japan, depending on your group draw, you, draw, you are at the World Cup Finals. It's the only place any basketball player wants to be. Venezuela making huge strides to getting that qualification. Zamora has the 12 points, Luis six rebounds, and Calamonades has the three assists. They get contributions from across this roster. And there is Zamora, he's 12 points, one assist, one steal. I mean, really is these, uh, what it says on the tin is that uh, he is a shooter. Everything else is a bonus. So he's, uh, he's really has, he's doing his job. He's performing for his team. Had a great first half. For Paraguay, Lubitic with the nine points. Uh, Ochopinte, he really does work hard. Has the four rebounds and Lopez has the two assists. And Paraguay currently ranked uh, 77th on the FIBA World Rankings. Venezuela 17th, so 60 places between these two countries. And to be fair, the 52-22 margin pretty much represents the gap that uh, is underlined by those, the difference on the FIBA World Rankings. point game there was this so uh, still 
for Venezuela the opportunity to work as a group, even though they're experienced, even though they have played so many national team games together. There's never enough opportunities as a national team to get experience on the floor. For Paraguay, the opposite. It's an opportunity to try and improve that performance, understand what it takes to move up those FIBA World Rankings. And you want to be making progress the whole time. So, no such thing as the game is over. Albeit a 30 point margin means that uh, in terms of the result, stranger things have happened, but not many stranger things. But as uh, Paraguay will be looking to be imp more impressive in this second half, restore a little bit of personal pride. Venezuela they're looking to work on things that they're going to be useful for them the next time they get together. So, the way Venezuela moved the ball, they're a nice team to watch. So he's plenty to enjoy in this second half. So welcome back to Buenos Aires. Paraguay will have the first possession of this second half. Wrong end of a 30 point margin. But Riveros gets them into the half court, turns down the ball screen, gets to the elbow, needs a pass. He finds one, the three is long. Great work on the glass, but uh, cannot get it to drop. And Venezuela turn it over. Uyant around the halfway line, contrived to turn it over. Veros has it on the sideline, will look to take the ball screen. He goes pass. Chapinta doesn't drop, defensive rebound, chance to run for Venezuela. Soho gets them into the half court. Better defensive effort by Paraguay, but uh, Soho for three is off defensive rebound. And Paraguay needs to just spend time with the basketball. Not that. Three on two break. Just have to find the open player. And that ball will go back to Paraguay. Great effort defensively. Pinta gets it into the half court. Ruderos. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. And Riveros, you just feel the frustration. Good opportunity for the inside outside option as the defense collapsed to the ball. Just have to pass the ball from A to B. Corner three, Zamora is short. Defensive rebound, Paraguay look to run. Peralta will settle things down, gives it up as uh, Dose was at the high post. Rivera drops it inside. Uh, Dose just blows the layup. Nice lead pass. And Zamora has some hops. Got out on the break. Great vision, Venezuela. Tick the scoreboard over. First points for either team of this uh, quarter three. Leros. They'll say we'll move down the lane. It is fouled and he will go to the free throw line. There's the missed layup. And the beautiful lead pass.
first of the free throws is good. Fernando Dose. This is club basketball in San Jose. Two for two from the line. Takes the push in the back, draws the foul. Lopez picks up his third personal, and none of them have been fouled, you'd hardly notice. Kalman Harris will hand it off. Crowd liked it. Crowd liked it. Yet uh, just leant back, almost fell on the floor, and got a very friendly roll from the three. Whistle on the plate. Let's take a look. Well, the assist, well, the pass was on the floor, and not to be outdone. Yet. Uh, A little bit great body control. And Heslap, Guyent uh, put up the really deep three, and uh, the crowd loved it. Absolutely. <laughs> Need something to inspire them in this second half. 57 to 24 with 6.52 to go in three. They're very frustrated. Dothel Lopez. Substitution off the power right bench. Diego Lesme checks in. Much better defensive effort. Just got to maintain it, Paraguay. Rivera's got a piece of it. Zamora puts it on the floor, gets in the lane, off the glass for two is good, and one. And he just is a scorer. He's not a shooter, he's a scorer. There's a massive difference. Zamora goes to 16 points, puts it on the floor, soft touch and floats it off the glass for two. Chance to complete the three-point play. 6.33 to go in the third. Colin will pick up the personal. Paraguay with 17 on the possession, just the ball gets deflected. Just about hangs on. Riveros will kick. That's the way to stay with the play, though. Tremendous effort by Dose, who really does impress with his just work rate.
Guerra. A little turnaround, he's short, no rhythm. Great work on the glass. Zamora just uh, continues to impress. Zamora swings the baseline, gets it in the corner. Wide open is so whole. Zamora's on the glass again. It's just a really incredible stat line if he carries on like this. The three is no good. Defensive rebound to an extent drops into the hands of Dose. All of a sudden, neither team can get anything to drop. Guerra Giles cannot complete the play, cannot get the offensive rebound, 60 to 26. And the ball will stay with Paraguay. Soho trying to create with a defensive effort. a little bit more active the mop man he's in and then the cameraman breaks away 10 seconds of fame has disappeared and he's not on the floor anymore great effort defensively balls deflected away all about Chiro's defensive effort and they still can't get the three to drop and we're taking a lot of them Rojas doesn't like his options balls locked away chance to run the floor Soho floats it to the inside soft touch cannot get it to drop Soho's turn to line up the three that's no good Carrera's all over the glass can't control it opportunity for Paraguay who contrived to almost turn it over. Far side of the ring for two is no good. Opportunity to run with a defensive rebound. Carrera looks off the pass, gets the two. Knocked away, quick hands again. Soho this time, four on one break. Easy two. Kubilan gets the two, the number. His chance to get out on the break gets rewarded. Soho gives it up. And Kubilan with no one between him and the hoop. Finger rolls the layup. And Paraguay will take the timeout. Let's take a listen. 3.24 to go in the third. Nice uh, bounce pass from Rojas. Three is good. And the Riveros gets the two. Sorry, the three. Guerrero lines up the three to answer and does. 
Just off the simple pin down. Carrera just got his feet set. Once they're set, he's got pretty more than even chance of trying to make it. Defensive rebound is finally grabbed by the defense. Extra to the corner, wide open for three is no good. Chance to run the other way. Three on two at, at worst. Settle for the deep three. Carrera is going to be charged with a personal. Two twenty-four to go in the third, and Venezuela maintaining their level, which is always tough in this type of game. Rojas gets it up. Dolce goes to the pass, and he just can't get that to drop. This may has got to finish the play. Rivera moves it on, a little, little bit too much heat on the pass. The deep three is short, and they just settled for it. And Venezuela runners are five. Carrera has it. They're going to go a quick handoff. Inside, outside. Carrera with the fine. They move the ball. The open corner is, they turn down the three. They back it out. Under 10 on the possession now. The floater is no good. Great work on the glass. Absolutely super work on the grass by Carrera. This team has all sorts of ways to hurt you, and one is they just outwork you. And Carrera shows you the full range. Shoots the three. Throws it down. Gets out on the break. Got his clearance from flat control, comes straight, straight down the runway, takes off and throws it down. And Carrera's still got some hops. One of the younger members of this uh, Venezuelan team, still only 25 years old, but uh, can get up. Pass it inside, whistle on the play as Dose got position. And they just, it's automatic. They look to reverse the basketball. Carrera has it. A lot of action away from him on this side of the floor. Carrera tries to back in, gets to the middle, is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. 45 seconds remain in the third. Chance to increase the lead. Another two with the clock start. Windy got a roll in the game. Carrera gets the friendly hometown drop.
just about beat the timeline. Zakara moves it back. Riveros. Not breaking this defense down at all. Tough finish. Super, super finish by Riveros. Looks at the official. Doesn't need to. Wide open for three. Kumian can't get it to go. Defensive rebound. At the end of the quarter finds its way into Lojas. And it's very much days our view as Venezuela lead this one 73 to 32 after three. Impressive again by Venezuela. 58 and 37. The 37 is something they'd love to improve. 10 from 10 from the line, it's always a good stat. And they lead this one comfortably at the end of the third. Let's take a look at the best plays of that third quarter. And you've got to say, it's going to be very much a lot of the same. And we started just before this third quarter started with the highlights of Zamora, and he picked up straight away. Meanwhile, the friendly roll. Oh. In Paraguay, did some nice things. They just don't do enough of those nice things. And defensively, in this game in particular, just been outpowered physically and in the quality of the Venezuela play. It just outworked them again. More numbers down the floor on the break. There are things here that Paraguay can pick, prick, can really quickly fix. But if you want to see them do that, you know, the details of how they do it, download the app, the World Cup Qualifier app, scan that code, and you can get all the action, all the stats, all the news. Go onto the websites, the FIBA, World Cup qualifier websites, every piece of information you would want is there. Follow your country. So Venezuela well get a first look. 73 to 32. Nice pass. Super weight on the pass. The cut was good, yes, but uh, Pedro Chorio just uh, finished it beautifully, but the weight on the pass was excellent. Fernando Dose tried to wheel and deal, drew the contact, will go to the free throw line. Two for two from the line. It can never be about just this game if you are coach Fidiu and uh, Paraguay. It's got to be a process you're going through to improve. Every single game, you've got to look to be better than you were the game before. And in Venezuela, you're playing one of the best teams in the Americas. Nice flow to great work to get the offensive rebound. That's a finish, super finish by Riveros, who really has 
impressed in this second half. Guerrero will reverse the ball. They just automatically look to space. Beautiful ball movement, excellent execution. Uh, and at the end of the play, Johanna Sifontes just came in strong, timing was great. Great rotation and great vision for the easy two. Well, we talked about things starting and stopping with defense and for this Venezuela's team, that is definitely the case. Turnover, or have they recovered it on the loose ball? Just under eight minutes remain. Soft touch on the finish. And Galaz Galaza has uh, no time in the first half. Done really nicely since he's come in in this second half. Much, much better defensive effort. Tremendous. They communicated well. The chick was involved. And it just asks some questions that they haven't asked Venezuela this whole game. Or well, even with the slip. Juro gathers his feet. And Cubian gets the... The next three. It's a little sloppy, but uh, who cares when you can get the two? Nice footwork by Lopez. Won't be a stranger to this floor in Buenos Aires as he plays in the Argentinian league, Lopez. Well, turnover, a chance to run. Well, they dodged the bullet because it was a wide open look. No one had a hand up on it at all. Defensive effort again. Three in transition is no good. Defensive rebound will find itself. In the capable hands of Churio. Churio gets it back, takes a look at his options, has a opportunity to ball screen. Gets his feet set for the three, is no good. And a chance, nice pass. That's a super pass and one. Certain symmetry to the scoreline, 42-84. Well, if you keep giving offensive rebounds, 
they will just keep filling it up. Esla Gurient. And it's just the lack of execution that occasion. Jorge Rojas attacks it on that left seam. Nowhere to go with the pass. Uh, as Venezuela rotate again, and Pedro Churo sits. It's all a bit frantic. They chase him off the three-point line, nice pass. Great patience. Just about got the shot away before the violation. Ruiz gets the two. Dubitich <laughs> will advance the basketball, comes off the screen, has to back out. Well, they saw the lob, but there was no space to throw the ball into. But he was convinced there was. All too often. Yeah, if the guard has called something and see it, they'll just still believe it's there. And at times, force it. Plenty of options on both these teams, actually, in terms of the offensive sets they run. And they do share the basketball. Under four to go. Chapinta. There's a whistle on the play because late defensively. Second of the three throws. And Sakara disappointed. They just need every everything they need that they can have, they need it. Extra pass to the corner, wide open for the three is good. And when they ship the ball, Venezuela, you're always gonna get a good one at the end of it. Just share the ball brilliantly. Titch. In the lane, and they kick. He just thinks about the three. He's got to put it up, and he won't get it away in time. And if he's saying, don't give me the ball with two seconds on the shot clock, when I've still got no advantage. Again, they just look at the open three and the hope it misses. They keep ticking over the Paraguay. The titch with another cute little two. Wow, Zamora's back. Just over two to go, 93 to 45. I'm not sure we found much out about Venezuela in this game, but we have found out some, some things about Paraguay. They're not throwing the towel in here, they're still playing hard.
inside outside. Pass was red. So, went for the big one, went for the big finish, and did not get what he thought it deserved. In the half court, Venezuela will swing it. Here's Zamora, who's been the most impressive Venezuelan this evening. Again, they leave the open three. This time it doesn't go. Great work on the glass. Samara wants to use the 14. Deep three. Ochi Pinta, there is, there's lots of the right parts for this Paraguayan team to become a factor in these qualifiers. The skip, just about kept in. Tomorrow puts it on the floor, steps back, takes the tough two under pressure and just fills it up. Titch, nice pass, nice weight on it, nice sink to the corner, is not rewarded. And that'll do it. Venezuela go unbeaten, 4 and 0. Oh. And a huge step towards qualification for the 2023 World Cup. Paraguay will slip to 0 oh and 4, but uh, if you lose, you learn. And there's confirmation, Venezuela with a 97 to 48 win over Paraguay. Great performance for Venezuela. Difficult in those games to maintain your level. They did an excellent job doing that. In a moment, we get a chance to see the best plays of that uh, second half. A lot of happy Venezuelan fans in the gym. Well, statistically wise, it's only 97 and 48 that really matter. It was uh, impressive. Only had the 11 points though, but was uh, good for Paraguay. Let's take a look at the best plays. That's a great pass, and Zamora, who was the outstanding individual in the game. But not even Zamora can stop and top this. A friendly roll. And Zamora really did put on a show. In France playing his basketball at the moment, Zamora and uh, very capable. Uh, 
And there's some real highlights uh, in tonight's game. The performance of Michael Carrera was one of those highlights. He's also got some hops still. And Carrera. Like a lot of... Uh, Like a lot of the people on this uh, players on this Venezuelan team, you know, they've been to a World Cup. They want to go again. They've won America's championships. They want to keep winning them. But they're an old team, so the 2023 World Cup may be their last opportunity to have this group play a world or regional level championship. Second round in the first World, the World Cup in China. So they've tasted some success at a World Cup. Now they obviously want more. Again, you can see in these highlights that the ball movement for Venezuela was exceptional. And they've got Zamora. Zamora can just flat out score. So we're going to get a look at the group table. Argentina played Panama tonight. Crucial game for Argentina. With Paraguay sit at the bottom, 0-4. Venezuela with the impressive 4-0 record. Great work by them on the way. Well on the way to qualification for the World Cup in 2023. But for now, from Buenos Aires, from me, Mark Clark, it's good night. I hope you've enjoyed that one. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you soon.